All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's on. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest, just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he move position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo and the ground control and the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 45 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsboro, Illinois, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and former UFC welterweight champion, Matt Hughes. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back of your corners, do not fall. All ready? Yeah. Ready? Let's go, guys. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early and he lands off. And they are exchanging leather early. 
while he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well placed with the kick. Swing and a miss with that punch by Hughes. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have an awful idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Great punch. Left-right combo is good. Nurmago yeah. Medov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Kick to the body by Hughes. Nice leg kick, lands. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Tottenham is shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Way to hide that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Hughes' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice punch there by Nurmago Medov. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, elbow strike landed by Nurmago Medov. Hughes' punch to the body. That one is blocked. Look at him drive his chin and the body with that body kick. While the numbers continue to pile up here, 56 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big ball from punch land. Now it gets back to range. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, that hurts to watch, right? To see that type of volume to the body. Beautiful combination. And every single punch is thrown with intensity. Everyone is thrown to have dominating effect. And to this point, they've all landed. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Still nice body kick land. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmago Medov. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, that's a good right hand. Good punch land. Oh, he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investor, the 
investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Plus right hand is true. Oh, buckled in there, beautiful shot to the body. Effective punch there by Hughes. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Superman punch now. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big left hook there. Nice kick landed there by Hughes. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Hughes. And follows up with another one. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Menon. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Right under the elbow. Feeling it now. Nice combination there by Nermago Meadows. Hughes gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying out. Hughes' lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. He's got to try to get this fight to the ground. Straight punch land. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That big score is right for the jab, too. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And just misses with that big right hand. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Nice. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Edge kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Hughes. The left punch is true, now the right hand. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he could catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. The next with a right. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. Boom, body kick right there. Landed perfect. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, right, tuck their chin, you bite ready? down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cut down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nurmagomedov gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Nurmagomedov. Well, I know Javier Mendez has said that he likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker. And as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, he will continue to show. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a ceiling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head down. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lands flush with that right hand. Five keys to the body. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. That doesn't happen very often. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Back and forth we go here! Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Effective punch there by Nermago Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. That kick blocked by Hughes. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. Do you love that one? Don't you? Love that jab. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Good stick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by Hughes. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. He blocks the punch. Oh, that's a nice strike. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Great punch landing, so much power. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, man, snapped his head back with the uppercut. Though. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw his full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reaction from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That's a big strike right there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Throws the right hand there. Shot to the body now blocked by Nermago Medov. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face but also what is a pretty significant thing. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore because the more it starts to split, that the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Nice punch, land. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Beautiful body. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. How good is that right hand? Leg kick. Well, he continues to mix it up beautifully on the feet. Nice inside leg kicks there by Hughes. Plans the right hand. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's more blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Jermago Medov's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. You can 
really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That is a stiff jab. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Final seconds here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace. It up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Swing and a miss by Hughes. Keep the pressure on, everything's landing. Finds a home for the left hand there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Would you look at the size of that? There, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. That punch, no good. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Nermago Metal. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes you don't see it coming. He's found his range, but now he's in a rhythm landing this nice, beautiful play. Back and forth we go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, oh, Rosie, no, oh, oh! Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. To get kicked. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Hughes gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right punches there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Right on the button. Big punch lands through the middle. Going to the body there with the right kick. Good body work with that hook by Hughes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now as a point, they start to drop the hand to block the uppercut. So look, they're going to throw something else now up top. Let's get going now. Under two minutes. Remain in the fight. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. 
Oh, big punch land. He missed with that jab attempt there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Gentlemen, what a fight. Oh, straight right. Outstanding output on both sides. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that fight. So as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges score cards for a decision all three judges score this contest 48 47 declaring the winner by unanimous decision Khabib the Eagle my congratulations to him he is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant